looks like you're getting cut off. There's the sounds. So you guys are really going for it, huh? Yep. The construction starting in just a few months. It's a bit of a squeeze. We had to split the payment. But with financing, we'll make do. Um, so the point of this game, as far as I can tell from now, is um, this John dude is dying. And these two scientist people that I'm playing, um, they grant one last wish, essentially. So they hook something up to his like brain that like reads all of his memories. And from what I can tell, they're going to change his memory to grant him his one last wish. So basically, you live your whole life, and if you have any regrets, that these people can like, come in and like, change things for you. Um, so yeah, I, I think that's, that's a major fun of the game, but um, I've not played it yet from what I remember of it. It's a love story, and it's, um, it's got a killer soundtrack for the story. You're hard to hear me. I know. Nah. Wonderful, having your dream house built at such a beautiful site. You had your wedding at that lighthouse near there all those years ago, didn't you? That's not all that's special about it. We have a long history with that place, you see. Well, it's good to have some good news at the get-together for once. Cheers and congratulations, you two. Hey, cheers. right back. I'm gonna get some fresh air. Me too. Well, buddy, it sure's been a while. Hasn't it? Who knew how hard it is to get across a few cities nowadays? That river. Still so quiet, huh? Yeah. She's actually been talking of it home and with Isabel. I guess she's just not used to you. Oh, sick burn, dude. Haha, <laughs> so I'm the bad guy here, huh? Oh, hey, so did you tell River that thing from back then? I did. So how did she take it? For the most part, she took it well. But something bugs me. Ever since the incident, she's been making these strange rabbits out of paper. Or gummy rabbits. Yes, lots of them. Ha! <laughs> I used to fold origami animals for my daughter all the time. What's wrong with that? I, I don't think it's the same thing. She's been doing nothing but making the same rabbits day in and day out. The house is literally filled with them now. Didn't Isabel say something like that is a common trait with River's condition? Yes, but something doesn't feel right this time. I ask her about it, she never answers. Instead, she gets this distant look in her eyes. It's almost as if she wants something from me. And the strange thing is, I feel like there's something I owe her, too. Have you asked Isabel? Yes. She said she talked to her about it, but got nothing. Well, I'm certain... I'm certainly not one to inquire, but I'll tell you this. I've known you since middle school, and you're not notorious for overthinking. You're probably just imagining things. There's no need to get too worked up. Usually when someone says that, something's always wrong. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You're probably right. Probably. I'm always right, John. Wait. So even him himself knew what was up with those rabbits? Forget about the stupid rabbits, we've got bigger problems. It's a confirmed memory, and there are no mementos anywhere. Don't worry, we can probably draw one out from them. How? Leave it to me, I just gotta give the bartender a quick visit first. Um, okay. 
Watts, talk to the bartender. Hey there! Can I get you anything? Hey, oh, can I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, crash your credit! Check. Uh, I'm sorry, we don't take checks. Oh, we'll just put it on my tab there. Wait, does that mean you don't have any money? Because he's not important to the game, I guess that's why he's a shadow. You're so getting resetted. Hey there, could I get you anything? Hello, could I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash your credit. Just put it on my tab, I feel like spending big today. Oh, thank you, sir. Here are your pickled olives. Thanks, bro. You'll be getting an enormous amount of tips today. <laughs> Thank you, sir! You're such an ass, man. Oh, loosen up. Pickled olives! Let's go talk to this Why is that a bottle of pickled olives you're sporting? Yeah, are you a fellow olive lover? Indeed I am! Just got a fresh bottle of them myself, in fact. Mind if I join you? Sure, why don't you grab a seat? We'll down a bottle together. Oh, yeah, that sounds just swell. <laughs> Disable taste simulation now. Oh, no, I, I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. I'm so gonna get you back for this. So that's how we got our first toaster. Oh, <laughs> Yes, I'm just savoring the amazingness of pickled olives. They're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, I just can't understand how anyone could <coughs> find such things to be disgusting. Take your time, we've got two bottles left! So I said, hey, that's not right, and they totally agreed! You know what else is wrong with society today? <laughs> yeah, I actually have it right here. Why? May, may I see it? Uh, okay. Here it is. And freeze. Finally, dear lord. How are the olives now? Oh, shut your mouth. I like this game. This game's cute. Wait, don't you dare. Don't worry, sheesh. See? I'm doing it by the books. Hulk smash! Neil, seriously? I'm trying to get into this and you're, you're, you're ruining the mood. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. <laughs> Alright, now the part that I'm terrible at. Yay! <laughs> Woo! I say I'm bad, but I'm good! Is my sound better, by the way? Terry Smash! Sweet. Alright, we are in later adulthood. So I can stop using this voice. I need to see Avengers soon. I will. Crikey Nutcrackers! You aren't Australian. 
Who cares? We're like 20 billion animators off the ground and standing on a damn flag. Just jump down. It's not like you can be hurt here. Are you kidding me? It's a freaking skydive. You can't stay on here. You can't get off. Gotta hate it when this happens. I swear if this was... Oh! Eva, what the shit? What? Hey, look, it's young John, I think. Why would they abandon her like this? I suppose she's just no longer needed. No longer needed. By ships, I mean. You know how it is, now that everything has GPS and all that. Look, River. This place means a lot to me too, and I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. If we save well in a few years, we, we can afford to build a house on top of here. We'd be able to see her from the window? In the morning, at night, we'd always be nearby. And, and we can walk here anytime. She'll never be alone again, Sean. I'll be able to watch over her every day. Yeah, we will. Good for them. You've got to be kidding me. You remember what happens, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. The ending isn't any more important than any of the moments leading to it. The important thing is, over there, they are happy. Let's move on. Damn right, Eva. Wait a minute. They were referring to the lighthouses on you, weren't they? I suppose so. Then, that river... She declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse? Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in the course of the job. Me too, but... Uh, I can never wrap my head around it. It's none of our business anyway. She's not our client. 